Welcome back everyone and this is your full body yoga workout for toning, straightening, flexibility and simply full body recovery in feel good session. I want to begin this workout today on our back team. And let's begin with gentle and effective warm up stretches first. So go ahead and lay down, close your eyes and let's take our arms all the way behind the head. Let's give our bodies from head to toe feel good stretch. On exhalation, let the tension leave your body and let your lower back to relax even deeper and melt down towards the mouth. Take a deep breath in. Expand your belly. And on exhalation, guys, slowly draw your one knee towards your belly or chest. Open your eyes or keep your eyes closed for now. And just give that leg a good hug. A good loving hug to acknowledge our body. Start to become present, being here, being now. You know, next exhalation, simply extend this leg you're holding and give it a gentle extra stretch guys gentle extra stretch here send a few nurturing inhalations and exhalation to your hip to your lower back and do your best to hold your knees soft and extended and all we're gonna do right now we reach to our foot and press right on top Give that hip a little bit deeper stretch. And again, close your eyes if it feels good or keep them open. No stress, just joy and relaxation. We're taking care of our body and that is a really beautiful and good thing. We're gonna take this leg all the way back up and this time see if you can come up a slightly Deeper and take your shoulders off the ground already. If that is too much, you don't have to do that. Just keep your shoulders and head on the floor. Continue to give it a gentle, gentle press on the calf and ankle. Beautiful. And slowly return back on the floor. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna send this leg for now <coughs> to the side. To give it an extra little opening for hip and lower back. Close your eyes and just be, guys. Just be right here and right now. Let all the tension, all the worries simply leave your body. We don't need that. Body performs and heals what much more faster when there is only joy, love in kind, warm feelings towards ourselves. Let's go ahead and return the slack back and we give our body another feel good stretch before we will stretch the other side. Close your eyes and open your heart to learn, to grow, to expand, to heal, to become a next better version of yourself. The life is not stagnant. Life is a constant movement, improvement, changing. It's a flow of life. And let's go hop in, bring the other knee towards the belly. And give it a good hug. Let the tension melt away from the lower back. Don't worry on being perfect in this workout. We all have room for improvement, for change, for transformation. And this is a great thing. Go ahead and reach that leg up and just give it a gentle press on top. Just a gentle one. Soft and extended knee. Try to hold that leg straight, of course, if it's possible. And let's go ahead, reach to the foot and gently press right on top, guys. Just like this. Mm -hmm. 
Let's send the next uh, nurturing exhalation to your hip and lower back. Extend the leg and you can choose to stay with your shoulders on the floor or you can choose to come up with me for a little bit deeper stretch here. Hamstring, Achilles, back and gently press the right on top guys. We give it just an extra press here to hold. Come on back down and we will take this leg as well all the way till the floor. Of course, if it's getting there, you can bend your knee, you can use your yoga strap or a little towel or any piece of clothing. In fact, will work just as long as you can find an extension. Very nice. We will put our post feet on the floor again. In another feel good stretch, we will add a little lateral stretch in here. So take your one wrist and put your legs on one side and just go ahead and pull on the wrist, stretch. Stay with me. And then simply switch and pull a little bit deeper even. Just like we do the standing lateral stretches, but we are on the floor, safe and sound. Keep the same wrist. We're gonna switch it in a second. And change the position of the legs and upper body to the other side. And then switch the hold of the wrist. A little bit deeper stretch. Very nice work. And come on up and bring your both feet next to the base. We will go for the first gentle bridge here. For my beginners, you guys choose to have your arms next to your body. Connect with the shoulder blades, no stress on the neck, of course. Breathe in, breathe out, and if you're ready, go ahead and bring those arms behind your head for an extra stretch in there, fingertips behind, and maybe some of you will even decide to join me for the calf raises. In this bridge, continue to breathe, guys. Breathe and flow. Just enjoy being present, enjoy this moment all the way through and through. Come on down slowly, word the breath by word the breath. And all we're gonna do is to take our legs up and bind underneath our knees. And I will give you a little progression for that. And you can choose to stay here or go a little bit farther. Give your pose legs a good hug. Great for the back. And go ahead and extend your legs if you're ready. So it's not a halasana. It's just resembling to your forward fold. Take your time. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. And let's slowly Return our legs on the floor the way you can. Give your body another feel good stretch and just stretch side to side. And then we are ready to roll up all the way to the forward fold. Bend your knees, guys, if you have to, or just roll up straight forward. Go ahead and fold. And for my beginners, or if you're not there yet, simply, or if you have any back injuries, you can stay on here. Just make sure you don't round the spine and sit like this. So we're gonna go for the long, extended, feel good back. We spend here a few inhalations, a few exhalations, Readjust in the fourth. 
rise up for a few times if you feel like it your body will tell you when you listen and then dive back in we're gonna take a few extra breaths here and come on back up hold your ankles your feet anywhere else on the floor or on your legs find the place guys when you can expand through the back it's almost like a cup and cow flow but sit it so round your spine reach up and open and again round reach up and open and round And open hold this with me for just a few breaths release your hold guys anytime you have to we hold in it and go ahead let it go for the forward hold come on back up slowly and go ahead and take your one arm all the way behind and all we're gonna do is to stretch a little bit deeper here, just like this. Give it a few extra inhalations and exhalations and do the same thing on the other side. Then we will repeat this stretch one more time. And you can decide, guys, if you want to move a little bit deeper for the full side plank with me so you can also do the side plank on the knee if you have to or come on up rise and give it a feel good full body lateral stretch again don't worry about being perfect we will do the same stretch on the other side or stay with the previous variation when you just bending your elbow come on up and rise all the way strong stretch take a deep breath in and come on back down all the way seated forward fold my friends one more that's right and come on down and hold it for just a few breaths Go ahead and rise your one leg. We will give it just a little bit extra stretch here before we put our foot next to the base. Great. And go ahead and put the foot back next to the base. Maybe not as close, maybe a little bit farther. Totally fine. Go ahead and give it a gentle half spinal twist which we will be holding and then progressing just a little bit here and go ahead and reach towards the extended leg on the floor maybe it's not there for you you don't have to reach to the toes and your opposite arm extension also optional we give it a good quality stretch all the way through and through. Feeling fantastic, open, happy. Everything good, healthy human body and mind supposed to feel. Come on back. So we're going to keep the same knee bend. And all you're going to do is to put your the your other ankle, that leg which was extended, on top on the knee, right above. Go ahead and just hold it. And naturally, with the muscle strings, pull the knee down closer to the floor. Or you can actually put the hand inside into the inner thigh, right above your knee, and gently push 
a little bit on top just like this mm -hmm. now you can continue to hold it for a few more extra breaths or join me guys for the reverse table top you can also release your foot and have both feet on the ground for your reverse table top breathe in guys breathe out and slowly return back on the floor extend the leg and pick up the other side we will go through this exactly flow from the other side as well to keep our body balanced so just hold this leg look inside bring attention and intention back think about strong body healthy body think about what would it feel for you if you had the best shape of your life you can even imagine physically mentally and we start in that point nice job Let's go ahead and slowly place this foot next, maybe not as far, and go ahead and give it a gentle side twist, just up here. Long and extended back, of course, so the oxygen can flow through our body, nurture the cells. The more we breathe, the healthier body becomes, the circulation of the blood, the nutrient absorption in the body as well. And you don't have to expand, but if you're ready to reach to the toes, maybe any other place, go ahead and open up a little bit wiser. Just like this. Try to lift that arm a little bit more, guys. So the one arm is a long line in continuation of another. And let's slowly release the hold all the way. And we will keep this knee bent. We just <clears throat> move the foot a little bit farther and put that other ankle on top. You can hold it and just let your hips and lower back melt naturally or you can put the hand inside and gently help the stretch open up a little bit more we're just holding it enjoying taking care of our body life can be stressful and bringing us stressful stuff during the week situation people around us so at least we can enjoy and make it not stressful process taking of our taking care of our body go ahead and set your hands on the floor prepare for reverse table pull or continue to sit on the floor relax your neck and head breathe guys And let's slowly return back on the ground go ahead and make a transition for the kneeling position your way guys I will meet you right here on your knees and we continue with a cat and cow just a few extra movements here to stretch your cat and your cow it always feels good we will also take care today a little bit on our ankles and your wrist and we will begin right now so take your one at the time or two in the reverse position your wrist if that's available maybe only halfway and we continue cat and cow if you have never work on your wrist at all that can feel pretty challenging 
but it's always a good time to start to improve our body flexibility. Breathe in and breathe out. We're gonna give it a couple more, guys. Excellent. And let's slowly come out of the wrist stretch. And we're gonna go for opposite. But we definitely will do one at a time. Just put an extra little pressure on this wrist. And switch, guys. Just with your body weight. And back all the way. Go ahead and sit back on your feet. And as always, you know what to do, so do the one knee at the time, shifting the body weight on your ankles, not your toes. Some of you are so good by now. Are we practicing together over three years? You might be able to sit pretty easily on your feet and that's the way to go. This is probably the most challenging of these few variations. So this one good or this one as well would work over one knee at the time. We have to do something to improve. Very nice. Let's go ahead and make a quick transition for the toe squat first. Just a supported one. And from the toe squat, you can see my toes on the floor. I just bring the knees on the ground. If you have to support your body on the side, you can put the fist on the floor, use the blocks, or take your hands up front. We will give it just an extra breath or two. Then we have a couple side stretches here. If you have to switch your toe position, just to sit down, you can. All the way, reach. In opposite direction, hand on the floor, reaching open. Back to the center, and we back to our kneeling position. Go ahead and put your elbows on the floor, guys. And we continue with a gentle cat and cow, just a few. Close here. And then we will begin our quick balance flow on the knees. So if you need to put an extra cushion underneath those knees, that would be a good thing to do right now. Come back and stay with a neutral spine. Go ahead and extend your one leg. Breathe in, breathe out, and we will naturally progress to that balance, you can always stop, readjust anytime you need, and then continue back. Go ahead and extend your opposite arm from your extended leg, and simply put the forehead on the floor if it's there. Take your time, guys, to reconnect with your body, to find the strings inside all the strings, all the health, all the commitment, all the passion already there. You have everything you need to start the big change. Life should have a purpose. The purpose of living without the purpose, we dying. It's important to spend a little bit or a lot of time to asking yourself the right questions. What is my purpose? Where are you going? Let's slowly bring the extended arm, guys, all the way to the front. And I encourage you to support your form as long as you need it, unless you feel really balanced today. And you can extend this arm all the way above. Breathe in, guys, breathe out. And some of you may even decide 
two wide, two wide. Continue to gaze inside the inward. So gaze. Being present. Very good. I want to hear all about this balance in the comments after the workout. Of course, not right now, my friends. Come on back down and let's rest in the gentle puppy pose. And then we do this flow from the other side, of course. Take a deep breath in. Good quality exhalation. And start to come back up to your tabletop position on your forearms. Up and down. Just a few nurturing flows for the back and neck. Breathing. We have then bring the other knee up, other leg up. Take your time before you extend that other arm. Let's find the good solid ground. And then take this arm up front. See if you can put your forehead on the floor. Life is beautiful in every day. We are a creators of our own life, or our own destiny. It's gonna go exactly the direction you want it to go. So carefully determine your maps. Inhalation, guys. Exhalation. I'm so proud of you taking care of your body. That's the mind of a strong person. Come on back. And go ahead then and line that extended arm right along the front line of your mat. Support yourself or go ahead and continue for balance here on a sideline. Breathe in, breathe out. And slowly connect with your ring. Very good. Let's slowly, with awareness, do the form and breathing. Return back. We continue with the dolphin, guys. We go for dolphin first, and then we will move towards the dolphin plank. In your dolphin, your heels doesn't have to be fully grounded. If you can do it, it's great. If not, bend your knees. But definitely work on expansion in your back. Shoulder blades apart, wide back. Lengthen in to all directions through that back. Scoop the stomach in and relax your head and neck. Take your time and step back to your dolphin. You can definitely practice your dolphin plank on your knees, guys. Totally fine. Let's see if you can stay on your feet with me a little bit longer. Alright. Go ahead and take your hips and belly on the floor. And you will find yourself in a sphinx pose when your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. So go ahead and push that heart slightly forward. Inhalation. Exhalation. And choose to stay right up here or raise your elbows off the ground. Less or more for cobra pose. Take your time. Work a little bit on your neck, shoulders, tear spaciousness. 
This is very good. Stay with me for a few breaths. And then continue to stay right here. Rest if you have to, just like this on the floor, forehead on the ground, or put your hands directly underneath your shoulders, maybe, not for everyone. And continue to breathe your up dog. Try to find the peace and comfort in the form. If your body is stressing out and you feel the stress is growing up in your joints and muscles and bones, in your mind, rather than letting go, just change the asana, just change the form, go on your elbows. We will slowly draw the one leg outside. Just and approximately on a level with your hip, your knee. Open it up and see guys if you can take the same side arm with your luck is out and look behind the opposite shoulder. Gentle but very deep stretch at the same time. Let's return back and simply switch the hand position. You can also go on your elbows, guys, if that's what your body asks you. Go ahead and catch up on the ankle. Look at the shoulder. Make sure you still can open and expand. Keep on breathing, guys. Maybe imagine yourself on the top of the beautiful mountain alone looking at the beautiful scenery around yourself and let's go ahead and switch the side simply so find yourself first right up here stretch really nicely and go ahead and Slide the other knee outside. Approximately is that knee on a level with your hip. Then go ahead and take the same side arm with your knees out. And we will look behind the opposite shoulder. Just like that. It's a good, not very gentle, but effective rotation. Includes our hips, lower back. And simply switch. Open up the shoulders and back first before catching up on that ankle. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And let's slowly return back to the center. And while we are here, let's work a little bit on the spine. One of my favorite back stretches is those scorpion touches behind. So you give it a little pivot rotation. If you can touch the floor, that's fine. We're just doing what we can. And then the other side. Take a few seconds, hold the straight. And the other side one more time. Mm -hmm. Come on back to the center. And go ahead and stretch up again in your up dog. And maybe throw your knees on the floor. Do your transition to your downward facing dog. We also have a feel good low lunge flow today. Let's spend a little bit time in the downward facing dog. And for my beginners, if you need a little break, go ahead and rest on your knees in your child pose. Definitely everyone else. Stomach in, relaxing your neck and head, 
and some of you may decide to reach to the Inkali cross which may be challenging and you may need to go on your knees but it's an excellent stretch for the back in the midsection and switch the sides guys let's simply take our one leg up open it up nicely first and then maybe through the one step or two steps step all the way to your low ledge may happen you need an extra push to this foot please do it make sure you have a good distance between the front foot and the back knee so your hips can really really stretch if you're using the blocks or hands on the floor totally fine i want you to be mindful about that we continue with the few circles one direction here in the two three circles simultaneously relaxing those hips guys all the way take your opposite arm from your front foot pretty far away on a 45 degree angle approximately so you can open it up even more maybe even gently press on top maybe and then open up nice and wide guys back on top on that mountain when the wind is touching our face being present being. we will gently fall forward for any type of the lizard you like try to put the fist on the floor and forehead on the fist some of you are so flexible by now so go ahead and put the forehead on the ground. Do what feels right. Take your time. And return back. We have a quick flow here, all on the same side from the low lunge to back transition when your toes are lifted so once you lift your toes the first time push the heel a little bit to the front to make sure your body is leveled all the way forward fold we working so hard through the week so we definitely need a good stretches on the weekends more is always better we have our library flow forward guys lean all the way and come back so don't be afraid to explore our yoga library our stretching library i think by now we have over 150 yoga videos now for you to use so it's all there for you you have such a great variety <coughs> i believe we never can get bored with this all the way front and all the way back in fact i use my open library many times when i'm getting ready for my classes in the gym i would just go through a few workouts i recorded for you go ahead for one more I put them together with some little tweaks and here we go I have a new workout for my gym students so our library is amazing please use it I would be so happy to know you guys using it all right friends come on back from your front foot and step back to your downward facing dog we're going to bend right and left knee just a few times, stretch Achilles. Just like this. This is it. And 
and go ahead raise your right side leg all the way through come on up on the tippy toes for the wider step and step forward front ankle front knee use please your blue box or have your hands guys on the floor if you need so in this time while we are beginning the flow we will go for the gentle lateral taps love souls give me just a few more Slowly take our opposite arm from the foot on a good wide distance, just the same as we did from the other side, and maybe even gently push into the inner thigh a little bit. And go ahead, open it up if you're ready. We ready to dive into the lizard of your choice. Hands on the floor, elbows on the floor, guys. Forehead on the block if needed, or all the way on the floor. Finalize this side with the same flow from the low lunge. Before we begin, let's just push the heel slightly to the front and square the hips both forward. And then slowly, guys, flow back to the lunge. Hold it for a few seconds. Feels good. Notice the differences as always between the sides. Lift your toes and try to pull forward again through the hip flexor. Mm -hmm. And back to the front. And again back. Every time, see if you can pull a little bit deeper. We go one more round. Go back. And let's go ahead and return back to the low lunge. Step back through the kneeling position or straight to your downward face and look. Very good. Relax. Release the tension in the neck. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Slowly bring your side back on the floor, guys. We're going for Virasana. I will add a couple shoulder, shoulder stretches for us. You can opt out of those. And make sure you prop yourself with the little blocks if you're not sitting on the floor all the way through. So you can choose to hold your hands on the floor, bring them up here. Or come with me when we take one arm behind in bind. Let's close our eyes. Take a slow inhalation. And on exhalation, let all the tension begin out the way from our body. Do the bind. And if you have to take a little break from Virasana, you can definitely do it. And then come back. Go ahead and connect through your hands, guys, if you can. Shoulders down. 
cheese top and open. Take a deep breath in. Slow release of the breath and allow you to release any leftover tension or discomfort in your body. Let go guys all the way through. This is it. And let's go ahead and undo this virasana. We will go back on our back. We have just a few minutes of the practice left. Let's spend it wisely. Reconnecting with our body and stretching at the same time. So first of all, on the back position, put your both feet together into your butt hekanasana and release guys your lower back closer to the floor. You might also need to prop your knees with some locks or pillows. And all we're gonna do, we will focus on being present in our body right now. And at the same time, I will walk you through your hips relaxation. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in through your nose, feel that breath moving through your throat, to your chest, to your belly, inflate your belly, and slowly contract the belly, let all the tension disappear from your body. We're moving down towards the feet and letting go of the tension from the feet and ankles, knees and inner thighs, hips, and the lower back as well. Relaxation is a choice. The most detrimental thing for the physical and mental body is the stress discontent, anxiety, dislikes, all of those negative expressions inside our body. But human body and mind is very intelligent and very unique. So you can choose what to keep and what let go. Choose loving, nurturing, positive, reinforcing, cheerful thoughts. It might feel really challenging at the beginning, but as anything else in this life, practice will make it a natural stuff for you. Slowly bring your knees together. And let's put straight first this one leg and put it on top on the other leg. Maybe that's going to be an eagle. Maybe that would be just a half of the bind. And put your knees on this side. The leg is inside on that bind. So if your right leg on top, then you're going to put your knees on the left. Close your eyes and just let the tension continue to melt away. And let's slowly, simply guys, switch. And maybe that's not the full bind. So if your left leg on top, you will put your knees on the right. Be mindful on your back. Reconnect and readjust the position of your upper body. Take a few nurturing breaths here as well. And let's slowly Return our legs back. Extend, guys, those arms and legs all the way through and through. 
close your eyes in from head to toe feeling good feeling happy feeling healthy feeling complete we are not looking for the happy lives we making it happen this is a choice we're not looking or wasting until someone gives us a house and happiness we are the ones who making it happen take a deep breath in and with a big smile on your face and close eyes so we can keep that connection within come on back to the sitting position and bring your both hands up front up front of your heart and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. We are sharing the most precious things, our time and our energies, even through the distance. I can feel your support and I can feel your love. And hopefully you can feel mine as well. So let's smile with our hearts. Open your eyes, guys. Reach all the way up. Invite anything you want to invite in your lives even the most crazy stuff bring your hands up front of your heart smile with your heart and flow through the rest of your day with unshakable love and peace inside namaste thank you so much for joining me for this practice today hopefully you enjoy it don't forget to leave me a comment down below. I always love to read and of course I would love to read about your progress and even your struggles because that way I know how else I can help you. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and welcome on board. I'm glad you're here. Rest well, recover well and I will see you all tomorrow for the new and exciting challenge.